All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show how to replace a fuel filter on a Grand Prix. Now this is a 2000 Grand Prix GTP, and many people know how to do this, um, but this video is for the people that know. So anyways, um, this is the fuel filter that you're looking at. Um, it is a quick disconnect on one side, and it has a threaded female end on the other side when it comes to replacing these I like to use a pair of grips um, just like these these are some vice grips and just a pretty much uh, adjustable wrench um, it's just a little cheapy Black & Decker wrench but it's able to do the job also that's required is a jack as you can see, I have the jack there. It's hooked up to the channel part of the car, which has given me a couple inches of clearance to be able to get these. Um, a jack isn't required, but at least um, some car ramps at the very least, because you need a little bit of clearance on the car to get underneath it to be able to replace this. This one sits a little bit low, so... I do need a jack for that. So I'm going to show um, pretty much on the car in relation where the filter is at. Um, it is in the driver side rear passenger uh, seat. So pretty much in the back door of the rear of the car. So there's the car. Here's the back part. Here's the tire. So you can see I got the jack right here. And... As you can see, there's a filter right underneath. So it's kind of a little bit of an odd place to put it, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and clamp my filter down now and just go ahead and replace it. Now when it comes to removing the quick disconnects, all you got to do is pinch the sides of the plastic and it pretty much comes off. Now when you get a replacement filter, make sure that you get the quick disconnect tab or the plastic tab if you find a filter and it's not one of those do not get it you need to get one with the tabs unless you save this tab usually all these will crack um, once you go to pinch them or you go to remove the filter um, so just make sure you get one with the quick disconnecting tab most parts stores do not carry um, those tabs not that I've ever seen um, it also helps to remove the part where the tab is at first because that's the easiest and it has a flexible hose at the end. And this other side, it's not so flexible. It's actually a steel line. Um, another thing is have a catch pad for the gasoline. Or at the very least, have something um, to put the filter in or one end of the filter in. Like I have this little octane booster bottle here so I'll go ahead and I'll take that off and then I'll pretty much um, empty the contents of the filter into this Um, so another thing that I failed to mention was uh, make sure that you empty the fuel pressure um, by going to the fuel rail. So I've gone ahead and I've replaced, I've placed a metal can there um, just to catch the excess that comes off. But um, it does leak a great deal and sometimes they do continue to keep leaking. Um, 
um, just because of the contents that's in the line. And not only that, um, sometimes it has a siphoning effect. It's always best to replace the filter immediately once the lines are taken off. All right, so I'm gonna replace my filter here and I have my tabs lined up from the filter onto the hose here and I'm just going to depress in and everything should go in and that's it it's in place um, all I got to do now is pretty much align so now I'm going to install the other side with the female and male threaded coupler and pretty much hand tighten that So always make sure everything's tightened up. Um, some cars do have a steel retainer, uh, which the filter mounts up to, and this car doesn't, so um, it just goes like that. But that's pretty much how a fuel filter is replaced on a Grand Prix. This works with many GM vehicles. And, uh, Anyways, as always, thanks for watching.